Well, let's see uh, what's happening in Costa Rica. Sounds interesting. Let's go to Sylvia, and she's on line five. Welcome to the show, Sylvia. Hello. Hi, Diane. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to thank Dr. Dyer for inspiring me. I'm a psychologist, too, and I Mm -hmm. went through a really hard time a few years ago in my life, um, panic attacks. And uh, you don't know, but you were there helping me. And uh, I'm now trying to help people who are going through this situation. And um, I hope you don't mind, but I, I wrote a little book, and uh, I mentioned your name a couple of times there, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, are you kidding? I'm honored. I'm, I'm thrilled. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, anything that I've ever said or done out, that's out there that has helped anybody else, if you want to use it, you certainly have my permission. And, oh, yes. And, yes. and my gratitude. No, I'm, I'm so grateful. Um, and uh, with my patients, I always watch your PBS shows and your movies. So mm-hmm. you're kind of famous here in Costa Rica, well, at least for my patients. <laughs> So oh, I, just, I just wanted to thank that's you wonderful. very, very much. Yes. It's, one of, it's my son's favorite place to go surfing. He just loves Costa Rica. He talks about it all the time. He's, uh, yes, yes, you should yeah. come. If you, if you ever yeah. come, I can help you um, fix something out here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I've I've never been to Costa Rica, but I've always loved it. But I'm interested in something that you said at the... At the I didn't get your first name. What is it? Uh, Sylvia. Sylvia. Um, is that you said that... Um, that you were having panic attacks and that I was there. Um, I was. I was, yeah. yes. I had panic it's, attacks um, a few years a, ago. And uh, I completely... What, what would happen? What, yes, what, what, what you said what, about what the fear. Hmm. Well, it was a situation in my family, and that triggered the fear in my life. And as you said, mm-hmm. I, I lived in that fear, and it's the most horrible thing I've ever been to. It's... Mm. It's horrible. I don't. I don't want that for anybody. And um, but and let's I look changed. at it just for a second. Just stop for a second, Sylvia, because yeah. we only have a few moments. Um, yeah. we, listen to how we describe that. We call that a panic attack, as if there's something out there called panic, and that it's attacking, or, or we or we'll call it an anxiety attack. And I'm having an anxiety attack, as if the anxiety is something out there that's uh, and and if I gave you know if I gave you or anybody an, an assignment to go out and bring me back a, a bucket of panic, you know, or a bucket of uh, full of anxiety or whatever, you'd, you'd always come back empty because there really is no such thing. There's no panic out there in this world, and yet we really believe that it, it's something out there that's attacking us. Uh, and um, it's... Uh, it's like so. What you when you what you're describing is the fear is like it's not really panic that is attacking. It is your processing of events in your life which leads you to uh, you know to to go to a state within that is you know a state of dis-ease or a state of pain of panic or a state of fear or your and, and then you have these physiological reactions in your body. Your blood pressure goes up. You can't you can't catch your breath. You know the you know you get uh, all flushed and red and 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 so many you don't want to eat or you get sick or whatever it might be, and, and all of it all of it comes n- not from panic, but from an in that's out there attacking us, but from a, the way that we choose to process any event in our life, and that if you working with your patients if you can teach them that there's nothing out there nothing out there that anyone can say or do or any you know is can possibly attack you you attack yourself by changing the way you look at things and when you change the way you look at things that is when you look what you've done and uh, and now become a therapist and you're helping other people to change it then you then the things you're looking at absolutely change and i would suggest sylvia that's probably right now in your life many things going on in your life that uh, six months or a year or two years whatever ago would would uh, have caused you to co- say i'm having a panic attack when in fact now th- you can look at them and, and wonder why you ever even allowed something like that to get to you Is exactly that exactly mm-hmm. yes i i now look at them as my biggest uh teacher um right. and uh, yeah yeah i know now that fear doesn't exist um, mm-hmm. And uh, it was the most incredible experience I've ever had. I look at it back and I say, if I have to go through that again, I would do that just to be in this space that I'm right now in my yeah. life. And isn't that, uh, and isn't now, that a gr- 
You can, yeah. and you do that. I did that with cancer. I mean, I did literally. I mean, I can remember the feeling that what you're talking about, that feeling, and and believing that it was it was the cancer that was causing it. You know, when in fact it was nothing more than my way that I was looking at it. When I learned to look at cancer differently than the way I did, just like the way what Anita did, um, cancer just didn't have a chance anymore. You know, within me, mm-hmm. it's yeah. you know, it's. And, and cancer is a very extreme example, um, <clears throat> but but living in a state of fear, which, you know, if, have you read Anita's book, uh, Dying to Be Me? Yes, I have it. I have it. Yes, I love yeah. it. And I, I pass yeah. it on to my, to my patients and my friends, too. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, but the thing is that um, I turn around the whole situation. Now I say that uh, panic attacks pick me, and now I'm like... Uh, I represent panic attacks. I don't mind the people say my name and then say panic attacks as my last name. I don't care. I mm-hmm. I just feel like this is this is my this is my path. This is my dharma, and I love it. And I I deal with that every single day, and um, and I love to see the patients coming on around and seeing things differently, like you said. Hmm. That's so wonderful. Oh, what a great call. Thank you, dear. Yes. No, thank yeah. you. I just want to thank you. You're very welcome. Have you uh, heard uh, the co-creating at its best with Abraham? Yes, I've heard of that. Yes. Yeah, we're going to send you. We don't you have copy. it here in Costa Rica, though. <laughs> well, you're you're going to have it because we're going to send one to you. Okay, so leave your address there, and and oh, we'll we'll, thank pu- you. we'll put it in the mail to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, Sylvia. Adios. Namaste.